Hello, my lovely duckies, and welcome to the Boneyard. And as always, I am your host, Caster. And today, uh, we're coming at you with uh, not really a how-to video, but more of a how-not-to video. <laughs> yeah, old Caster screwed up. Uh, I was planning on doing something for a video, and I, um, I ended up screwing up. So I figured, you know what, might as well uh, show it anyways, and maybe it could be a good learning tool. Not just for me, because I screwed up, but for you too, because you can look at it and be like, ha ha, Caster screwed up. So, I was going to DLO a Super Nintendo, and as you uh, know, I got one recently uh, from a retro find. Um, you can look, one of the Toy Mall Hall videos of mine. So, anywho, um, i seen everybody do this on YouTube, and I thought, hey, I, I could probably do this as an experiment, and... Show my findings to uh, all my lovely duckies out there in the boneyard. So, yeah. So, it, it worked, but I, I still screwed up. So, what you're supposed to do is get something like this here. This Salon Care uh, 40 Volume Cream. Now, this is for bleaching hair. So, what you do is you get this cream here. And you can find this at... At a salon, but it has to be the number 40, you know. But you can find this exact bottle on Amazon, and I've seen this exact, everybody uses this exact bottle. So you can find it on Amazon or I guess anywhere, really. Um, and what it is, it has hydrogen peroxide, but you can't use the kind that you buy at the store for like first aid. You got to buy this kind of stuff. So, anyways, what, what, the the what you're supposed to do is the theory is you're supposed to take this salon cream and you're supposed to put it on the, uh, the yellowed plastic and what it does is you're supposed to put it outside and the uv light from the uh from the sun it will interact with this salon cream cause a chemical reaction and that chemical reaction will um basically pull the yellow out of the plastic and you can get your uh you know you can get your uh your plastics to look you know like they did well I screwed up. What I did was I um, I took this cream and I put, uh, you know, I took the top part of the NES. And by the way, let's go ahead and show what the NES looked like before. Yeah, look how, look how nasty yellow that is. So that's how it looked out before. And uh, so what I did was I took this cream and I took a Ziploc bag and I put it into uh, the, the top part of the NES, into the Ziploc bag. And then I put poured this cream on in and uh yeah and i i took and i kind of like rubbed it through the through the plastic because i didn't want to get it on my hands because this you know you don't want to get this stuff on your hands and um well what i really should have done was put gloves on and and applied it that way or use some kind of like maybe like a a, a cotton swab or something because what happened was i didn't i did not evenly uh distribute it so some of the cream was heavier on some parts of the plastic than others. Some had a very light, very thin layer. And some, it was kind of like, you know, a little too thick. So, uh, we got an unevenness of the, um, of the reaction. And it, yeah, it looks, it looks kind of bad. It looks better than it did. Believe me, it looks much better than that dingy yellow. But it still looks pretty bad. And I'll, uh, I'll show you here in a second. So, yeah, so that's what you're supposed to do is in, and put this out in the sun. But and you're supposed to leave it for, like, at least two to three days. I did about two days. Um, you leave it out there all night. I just left it out there all night. And then, you know, that way you could get the, the morning rays, you know. But uh, I've also seen where other people, you can actually get, like, uh, anything that really generates UV light. You can get, like... Um, uh, I think you got to have a high enough wattage, though, but I'm not really sure because I haven't really done a lot of the research. But, like, anything like uh, anything that would, like, cure um, plastics or anything, um, or you can get, like, the stuff that, like, um, dries nails through a UV light, you can get something like that. But I'm pretty sure you can buy anything, really. And I've seen people make their own uh, de-yellowing chambers where they'll take, like, a styrofoam case and they'll um, put it in there and they'll line it with... Uh, <laughs> Let me just pull this out of my way. I've already screwed up with it once. I don't want to screw up anything else. <laughs> so uh, uh, I've seen them like take a styrofoam 
uh, cooler that you know you can get anywhere really, and uh, or any kind of container. It could be a plastic container, or anything. But anyways, they line it with uh, aluminum or as our uh, as our you know English friends will say aluminium. Whatever, get over it. I know because if some are gonna see it, they're gonna be like, "What the hell is he talking about?" <laughs> I've actually, sorry, I know I, I don't want to rant here, but actually uh, had that argument before with uh, some friends from England. You know, I, I mentioned aluminum foil, and they were like, "What the hell are you talking about?" And I was like, "Aluminum foil," and they were like, y- y- "You mean aluminium?" Like they had no idea what I was talking about. And I was like, uh, "Yeah, I guess you could pronounce it that way." But anyways, okay, enough of that. Enough of that. Back on topic. All right. So, anyways, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and show you. But, uh, but anyways, yeah, you take you take al- aluminum foil and you line it. And then you have, uh, then you'll want to close the lid on top of it, but you want to have it where the 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 uh, UV light is in there. Sometimes you can get those like like those strips, uh, LED light strips. You can get like those or whatever, and you want to close the lid on it with the light in there, so that way the rays are kind of bouncing all around on the uh, the uh, foil there, and it gets every part of the plastic hit with the UV rays, and and you can just leave it in there, and you can have it in the house. You know, you don't have to do anything with it. So that's one way to do it, but I thought I would just do it outside because outside you can, you know, you got the the light of the sun. It takes a little longer because, you know, you, you have so many hours in the day, you know. Uh, so anywho, without further ado, let's let's show what I screwed up because that's what you're all here for. So uh, I haven't put it back on yet, so I'm just going to show you the top case here. So uh, yeah, as you can see, look at that. Looks a lot better than it did, but as you can see, like there was just a thicker bit here, and you know, as you can see, it's it's just it's so uneven. Yeah, it it it, really, it kind of pulled in some spots, as you can see. And I thought I'd got it, but you know, whatever. Uh, yeah. And one thing I did not like is when I first showed this in the toy mall thing, and as, you know, and the light didn't really hit the back here. Uh, he adds nothing to. That's why you put the aluminum foil. So every part gets hit. So this really didn't get hit too much, but it, enough where you can see the difference. But in that toy mall haul video, I showed how I didn't like how the corners were busted up on the on it, and um, yeah, uh, so the corners kind of took a real bad beating. Um, but what really sucks is now I know that it um, actually tore off the screw posts. So somebody has dropped this pretty bad. So like this thing was torn because I was just sitting there with a security screw, and I was doing this number, and I was like, man, why is it just not? Why is it not doing anything? And then uh, I realized I could just pull it up, and I was like, oh, because uh, because most of the because these two screw screw posts have been tore off. Yeah, so I'm kind of not pleased about that, but um, yeah. But anyways, so it, I mean, this is my personal Super Nintendo, so if it looks banged up. You know, it's it's it's, it's mine, um, and, and and I really hate how the buttons here. See, yeah, look at that. It really damaged the buttons. Oh boy, oh boy. So, uh, let's get the other parts here. So, um, the uh, tray here actually worked out pretty good. This part actually worked out pretty good. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this one had enough on there. Had a, had a, had a, had a, had a good uh, uh, level on there. You can see some parts didn't, but this is going to be under there anyways. Now, so that that actually worked out okay. The uh, the cartridge slot thing. So I might you know leave that right there. But um, the part here that says uh, Super Nintendo, yeah, it didn't it didn't look at that. Oh yeah, that was kind of bad. Yeah, so it was a little bit more pulled up here than it was right here. So, hmm, yeah, that was terrible. And then uh, the um, the eject tray got it the worst. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, and I just set it out there and left it. So I guess some of it just kind of collected and pulled. And, uh, yeah, I thought it, it really didn't matter. But, yeah, live and learn. You know, I mean, what can I say? Live and learn. Sometimes you have to screw up to, 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 to get it right. So, um yeesh that looks so bad so uh you're probably gonna be like well what are you gonna do caster you're just gonna put it back together and have a really ugly super nintendo well i thought about that and i thought well it's already screwed up so 
I'm thinking, you know what, I might just sand it all down and uh, and repaint it like I have my NESs. So, um, yeah, so, as some people say, I ruin, I ruin my uh, NESs when I repaint them. So, oh well, this one's already ruined anyway, so it's a good excuse, right? And, uh, by the way, you know what, uh, I like repainting NESs and, 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 uh, giving them different, different colors and stuff, so, I don't know why people say it, you're ruining it, you know, it's like, it's not like I, I have a Camaro, <laughs> and I'm, and I'm, I'm just, you know, scratching the hell out of the paint, you know, uh, the, the NES, they made, like, millions of them, you know, like, some people throw them away, I mean, my God, so it's like, you know, I hate people that cry over that kind of crap. Oh, so I'm thinking about doing maybe a Legend of Zelda version of this. Oh, excuse me. I hit the camera there. So I'm thinking about doing a, um, like a Legend of Zelda. So I'm going to try to repaint the buttons and, you know, repaint all this here. Um, but it'd be like a Link to the Past for, you know, uh, theme since this is the Super Nintendo. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about doing like a, like a gold and green. You know, I think that might look good. So we'll, 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 we'll see. Uh, that'd be another, that's another project for another day. So, but since I already have it, like, taken apart, I might as well just go ahead and, uh, sand that down and get it ready to get painted. Yep. But, uh, speaking of painting, uh, consoles, I thought I would go ahead and give you all an update on that NES I was gonna do. So, yeah, here's the, uh, here's the Metroid NES that, um, that I was working on. Remember I had that controller? Uh, yeah, so here's the uh, here's the uh, the the case to go with it. Now you can see it's just the just the case. I don't have anything done with it. I'm still working on the uh, the RGB mod. Oh, a little piece of fuzz there or something. Oh no, it's like a dead moth. Oh god, how'd that get in there? Ugh. <laughs> that happens when you work in the boneyard. All right, so yeah, got this. Uh, Got this case here. I, I think it looks pretty good. You know, it's got the Metroid stickers on it. And I got the, um, yeah, Voltar would be proud. Got the pallet switch ready to go. And then I got the, um, yeah, I got the, uh, the multi out thing ready here. Ready to go. Yep. So, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. And, you know, screwed up in a couple spots here. Like, you know, I got a little, yeah. Yeah, stuff like that, but I think it looks pretty good. And then, uh, yeah, that, I, don't, uh, I think it was chipped right there, but I think it, all in all, I think it looks pretty good. But, uh, anywho, uh, yeah, and I, I put some painter's tape over top of that, and I, I thought I got the painter's tape that's like, doesn't, it's like low adhesive. You know, it, it, it it's supposed to not, it's supposed to be for like instances like this. And yeah, it kind of it kind of pulled that up, and it pulled uh, this one up here too. Not as bad. Um, yeah, that's not as uniform as I'd like it, but hey, at least it didn't tear that up. But yeah. Anywho, uh, yes, yeah, so I think it actually looks, looks pretty good. What do you think? But yeah, I put it on Reddit, and some guy was like, "Oh, you ru you ruined it!" And I said, oh wow. Uh, and I'm like, "Oh well, you know what? Screw you, Ducky. You know." Different folks, different strokes for different folks. I mean, you know, if you don't like it, well, who cares? You know, I'm not going to come in the night and steal yours, you know. It's my personal NES. I can do what I want. I could throw this down a flight of stairs if I wanted to. Shh, no, no, Ducky, I'm not going to do that. Shh. I, I'm, just, I'm just joking. Shh. All right. <laughs> but yeah, this is a vinyl sticker. Got this off eBay and got these off, these stickers off eBay. But I think they look good. But yeah, that's an update to it. I'm I'm working on the RGB uh, mod kit. I've kind of had some technical difficulties. Uh, the one that always gets everybody is desoldering that PPU. I I, uh, I had some trouble with it, and I've yet to like go back and uh and deal with it. I, I'm planning on doing it that this weekend, the weekend that this video is uh, recorded. So hopefully I can hopefully I can get this thing finally finally done. Oh man, I've been working on this. This project forever. So anyways, Duggies. Thank you for watching my screw up. You know, go down in the comments and, uh, yeah. Say, uh, you know, how dumb I am. Teehee. Caster, you're so stupid. <laughs>
Uh, so anyways, Dougie, if you're planning on doing something like this, don't do it like Castor did. Try to do an even, a more even coat and uh, keep an eye on it. <laughs> go out there and check a little more regularly. I checked on maybe like once or twice a day, but I would go out there a little bit more than that. So anyways, Ducky, I hope this, um, I hope you, you learn how to do it better through my mistake. So anyways, Duckies, uh, like and subscribe, and, uh, you know, if you think I'm any good, uh, leave a comment down below, please, and, um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you next time in the Boneyard. And always, stay safe, and be good to each other.